Hello, this is John Harrigan coming from our website, Immortal Now, where we teach the secret to immortality. That's again, immortalnow.com. And what you're seeing in front of you is the blog section of our website where we have articles, podcasts, and videos. And today, we're going to be taking you through the essential articles. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight essential articles, free articles on the secret to immortality that you can read immediately and right now. And in this video, we're going to go through the first video of those essential articles to begin to teach you about the secret to immortality. How can you be healthy, strong, joyful, happy, and free, living physically immortal in a cooperative world? That's what we're going to show you step by step. Right now, we're on the article titled, The Secret to Immortality is a Three-Step Process. And we say the secret to immortality is a three-step process because it is. In this pillar post, discover the three-step process of the secret to immortality. Watch our powerful video at the end, and we'll do that together. So the secret to immortality, how can you be physically immortal? And that may sound ridiculous and even absurd, but it's certainly not. You know, every religious spiritual leader talks about eternal life, and some talk about physical immortality. Certainly Taoists do, Taoists in the mountains of Wudang in China, where my teacher is from, and where my lineage is from. I'm a Qigong master of over 23 years, and I'll share that with you a little bit on these videos, and there are some free Qigong videos on the website at immortalnow.com. The secret to immortality is what we teach. It's as simple as one, two, three, as you'll see here on our blog article. It's as easy as one, two, three. Three steps of the secret to immortality. And I'm reading some of this right off the blog article in front of you. And again, over here, to the right of the blog article, every blog article in our blog section, we have essential articles to read. And we're going over today for about the next 20 minutes, The Secret to Immortality, the first of the essential blog articles. Below that, we have a book that I've written, a course on The Secret to Immortality, and a free podcast and some other things that may interest you. The secret to immortality, again, is as simple as one, two, three. What are the three steps to immortality? One, mindfulness for immortality. Two, qigong for lasting life. And three, immortality coaching. The three steps to the secret to immortality. The secret to immortality has three simple steps. I'm reading from the website. Each of these three steps builds awareness, inner dialogue, and knowledge needed for physical immortality. Number one is mindfulness for immortality, where we suggest to you that your thoughts, that our thoughts together, our thoughts, our words, and our physical actions create our reality, the physics of reality, everything. Our thoughts, our words, and our physical actions create reality. In a way, everything is a physical action. Everything we are and do is a physical action, our spirit, our feelings, our mind, our heart. But we break it apart so you can more easily understand that. Mindfulness for Immortality One is when we start to become aware, we start to inventory our thought process. Number one for the secret to immortality, we have to move beyond the unconscious and conscious acceptance of death as an inevitable outcome of life. We have to pull back from our participation in death and harm and wrongdoing that we may not even be aware of. You know, the first part of that is to look at what we know we're doing wrong and slowly move away from that. Not all at once. We never suggest you make immediate catastrophic changes unless you may need to but most change is slow deliberate and purposeful so with the secret to immortality we're looking at the thought of death this thought of immortality and how our thoughts are cooperating with the force of death demise accident and disease how we're kind of trained from childhood from infancy from 
our relatives, our grandparents, our great grandparents in the world that they lived in, how we're all trained, our genetics and epigenetics, how we're all put together for ultimate de demise, hardship, loss, suffering. And death and our suggestion our suggestion with the secret to immortality is this isn't necessary our suggestion with the secret to immortality is that it's not really necessary to suffer to die to go through hardship and loss that evolution and personal growth take place much better when we're living in our natural immortal design when we're acting with kindness and love when we're continuing and building upon our lives minute by minute and day by day. So with mindfulness for immortality, number one of the three, we're starting to examine how we think and how we react to the world in obvious ways that we may know are wrong and not too helpful for ourselves and others. And then the more subtle and interesting ways that we're unconsciously contributing to the force of accident, death, and disease. We don't need to do that, and we'll, we'll take you through how to figure it out, understand, become aware, find the bliss of who you are, and live in that eternal, immortal place of self. Number two of the three steps to the secret to immortality is Qigong for lasting life. I'm a Qigong master of over 23 years. I study and practice with a Qigong grandmaster from China, and he in turn has his teachers and his lineage, which includes a lot of his immediate family, uh, grandparents, father, grandfather, etc. But it doesn't have to. It's just helpful. If you learn golf from a, a good instructor, he probably had a good instructor. And that instructor probably had a good instructor. If you had a wonderful mother and father, they probably had wonderful mothers and fathers, your grandparents wonderful and good great grandparents or maybe you had really terrible parents that inflicted a lot of damage and pain upon your life and your early childhood and we'll take you through a process with a secret to immortality of how to undo that hardship and harm the injuries of life everyone is injured by this world the way it goes this world has death has suffering disease and we can deny the hardships, but it's a predatory world where every life form is looking for another life form, hunting it down, <laughs> chasing it down sometimes uh, to capture it, kill it, and eat it. And we're suggesting there's another way to live, which is cooperation, love, compassion, living together, working together. We suggest today that you entertain the idea that it's not necessary to kill things. It's not necessary to be harmful, to compete. If you want to compete with anything, just compete with yourself, with your soul, to find your soul, to find your heart, your goodness, your strength, your immortality, and we'll take you to that and we'll show you how to find that. We're doing a little bit of that today. So the secret to immortality in front of you on this screen is one, two, and three. One, mindfulness for immortality. Two, Qigong for lasting life in immortality coaching after you've read our book here on the right side qigong and spiritual growth it's available on amazon after you've read our book after you've finished the essential articles studied them taken our introductory course on immortality that's available on our on our website up in the menu you can find it after you've done all those things then um, you can talk to us one-on-one -on -one about the possibility of coaching all you want to do is make sure you're committed to it, you're ready for it, and you're going to follow through. Um, your time is valuable, our time is valuable, and we want to make sure it counts for everyone. As we walk an immortality path, as we, I'm reading from the um, blog post, quote, as we walk an immortality path, we see things from a new perspective of eternal love. Eternal love, we suggest, and you're going to start to find there's eternal love inside you as your core, your soul, whatever you want to call it, your true identity. And you may not feel it for a while. You may feel it quickly. You may already feel it, or you may know it's there. In all my blog posts going back many, many years, 
in, on other blog sites that are no longer up, any article I write about love is always the most popular article. Articles that I write about love are always the most popular. And why is that? I think it's because love is our soul and we miss that love. We miss that deep, eternal, powerful love where we connect with every other person, everything on earth, the universe and beyond. That love, I suggest to you, is our identity and together we can experience it. That love, I suggest, is an eternal love, an immortality that includes our physicality. Quote, to read that again, as we walk an immortality path, we see things from a new perspective. If this is new to you, if this idea is new to you, we'll walk this road, this path together. That's what this website is all about, immortalnow.com is that we do this together. You do it with my book. You do it with our podcast. You do it with our courses in Immortality Lab where we have a number of a number of lectures, private lectures available in Immortality Lab and Qigong classes throughout the month throughout the month. We transform, quote, we transform to the highest and best selves we can be with the secret to immortality. As we walk an immortality path with the secret to immortality, we see things from a new perspective. The newness is our soul, actually. In our soul, everything, I promise you, is exciting, new, compassionate, refined, and really very beautiful. As we walk an immortality path, we see things from a new perspective of eternal love. We transform to the highest and best selves we can be. I suggest to you, we are already inside our highest and best immortal selves. We're already gold and perfect human beingness. We already have that, but we've covered it up. The eons of life kind of living wrongly, life harming life. We need to kind of unpack the debris that's piled upon us of injury, harm, fear, and other uncomfortable things. We need to unpack that. And the biggest fear may be the, the fear of injury, the fear of harm, the fear of death, the fear of not getting food, not getting what we need, need to survive. As we unpack that fear, that debris of the hardship of life, conscious and unconscious, it slowly all becomes conscious, but as we unpack that debris, we find our golden soul, our pure and perfect core, that is immortal, physical, and good, I suggest. But you have to do the work and take our courses, read the book, and listen to these videos to learn how to find that in yourself. Our knowledge and, aware our knowledge and awareness improve. We connect to a greater power within, our within us, within ourselves. Quote, as we walk an immortality path, we see things from a new perspective of eternal love. We transform to the highest and best selves we can be. Our knowledge and awareness improve. We connect to a greater power within us. I just suggest to you that greater power is who you already are. But we live, all of us, kind of in a disabled way, even the best of us. If we're heading towards death unconsciously, unintentionally, if we're harming the world and we don't know it, the world and we don't know it, we're not living to our fullest ability. Our knowledge and awareness improve. We connect to a greater power within us. I suggest the immortal you, the physically immortal you, is already there. We're just all a bit disconnected. The Qigong, my lectures and book and coaching will help you get connected within yourself. As we get connected within ourselves, we get connected to the beauty, love, and power of the world that's here to serve us as we are to serve the world. So one, mindfulness for immortality. What is that? Mindfulness for immortality, read along with me if you can. Mindfulness for immortality is where we capture the power of our thinking, speaking, and action to activate our immortal life. Quote, for better or worse, we create ourselves and this world by our thought, speech, and behavior. If, nothing, if you get nothing else from this video today, look at this quote that I'm going over with now with my cursor on the screen. For better or worse, we create ourselves in this world by our thought, speech, 
and behavior, for better or worse, we create ourselves by our thought, speech, and behavior. We are creating who we are. We're creating the world we live in, the physicality of the world, how it acts upon us, how it interacts with us, the very physics of existence. I suggest we are creating it, all of us together and individually, we're creating it by how we think, speak, and act. That's what that quote is all about. With mindfulness for immortality, we use our thoughts and actions to turn our lives around from certain death to happiness, freedom, and eternal physicality. I suggest to you that everything takes place in the here and now. That as we get, as we physically get more and more into the here and now, physically, in this physical reality, time kind of disappears and recedes. And reality becomes more and more real. And our physicality becomes more and more strong, more present. I suggest to you that we're eternal physical beings in a physical reality right here and now. But part of being here and now is learning to get out of yesterday and not into tomorrow. Because really, tomorrow never comes. And yesterday is important as we learn from it and look back upon it from time to time. But all our power and where we're living every second of our lives is here right now in our bodies. We don't have to go anywhere else. We just have to more and more come into the now, come into our bodies, get grounded and be where we are. That's where our eternal physical self lives. So let's read some more here. What are you thinking? In all our lives, we think about death as the inevitable end to life. If, excuse me, if, if all our lives we think about death as the inevitable end to life, death comes about. It's kind of common sense. Things we think about again and again tend to happen. A plan we have, a plan we act out tends to succeed. And I suggest to you the death plan is not too pretty. I don't recommend it. Quote, if all our lives we think about death as the inevitable end to life, death comes about. My suggestion for today, another suggestion, is consider not thinking about death as the end of life. And I, I don't mean this as a competition. Don't try to edit your thoughts every time you're thinking about death. That can get too complex and too stressful. Just think today about whether a life of eternal bliss, happiness, and joy is for you. If you didn't have to suffer, if you didn't have to be confused, if you didn't have to be injured, if you literally got everything you wanted, isn't that what you want? I suggest to you the most wretched of us, maybe the most immoral, the most brutal and cruel, they're after the same thing the best of us want. They're really just looking to get something from life that is rewarding. And I suggest to you the most rewarding thing you can possibly have, the most powerful and infinitely giving thing you can possess is an awareness of your own soul, of yourself. And I suggest that everything you could want, need, and desire is in there as you. Really, desire comes about by being out of touch with who we are. Desire comes about by being out of touch with who we are. Pause and think about that quote. Again, from the article in front of you, if all our lives we think about death as the inevitable end to life, death comes about. If we plan for death and expect death, we bring death into reality. Anything we plan repeatedly, day after day and act upon usually comes about. The simplest, smallest things make up our reality. The simplest, smallest thoughts, feelings, and emotions that we, re that we repeat. The simplest thoughts, emotions, and actions that we repeat on a daily basis, consciously and unconsciously, are creating who we are, our physical body, our emotionality, our sense of self, and the world around us. Quote, if we think, speak, and act with compassion and immortal intent, immortality becomes a fact of life for, our, for ourselves and the planet. It may take a while, but what, what do you have to lose? 
If we think, speak, and act with compassion and immortal intent, immortality becomes a fact of life for ourselves and the planet. Why not do that? Why not have that joyous, happy, and free, compassionate, loving, and kind immortality, a cooperative nature that we live with, that we live in, a cooperative world? Quote, take a look at the words and ideas you have within you. This gets into self-inventory. So to become aware of what you're thinking, of how you're creating yourself, take a look at the words and ideas you have within you that you physically express. With these words, ask yourself how your life plays out. Where is your inner and outer dialogue taking you? If you don't know what your inner or outer dialogue is, that's okay. Just start to write down things that you're thinking throughout the day. Start to write down things that you're saying to yourself and other people throughout the day. There's nothing complex or difficult, but the more you inventory your thoughts and your words and your thinking, the more you become aware of it and the more power you gain over what kind of thoughts, what kind of feelings you have. So a self-inventory, a self-analysis is essential for getting control of your life, getting control of your emotions, of your feelings, and getting to that eternal core of you. I'm going to wrap up this talk, and I'll finish this in another few lectures on uh, YouTube that you can see. This is the end of part one, where we were looking at the article called The Secret to Immortality is a Three-Step Process. Again, it's Mindfulness for Immortality, Qigong for Lasting Life 2, and 3, Immortality Coaching. On the right of our blog page, where every blog is, every blog that you look at, look at, every individual and separate blog has this right column. In this right column, you can connect to our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube. On Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, we have daily motivations and insights for you to use kind of like as mantras to take with you throughout the day to encourage you to keep your momentum going on this path to immortality on a daily basis. So again, explore our website a little bit. Go to immortalnow.com. Up in the menu, go to the blog, and you'll find always the essential articles to read, beginning with The Secret to Immortality. And you can go ahead as far as you want. There's a lot of articles to read um, in a short period of time. You might want to stretch it out. Also, look at our YouTube page where you're seeing this video. We have exercises there on our website. We have a page about Qigong in the menu, a free Qigong exercise. We have a lot of free things for you. We also have the membership Immortality Lab, the month, monthly membership site Immortality Lab. You can find up here in the menu. That's a monthly membership where we have um, Qigong courses, unique Qigong and private Qigong courses, unique and in-depth lectures and talk talks about the secret to immortality, the psychology of the immortality process. That is all for now. We're going to keep going through this entire article and a few more posts over the next few weeks. We're going to go through this. It's kind of a long article. This entire article, in the very end, we're going to watch a video together. Bless you and keep you for now. That's the end of this video.